Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app. The following demonstration is for the iPhone. At the top of the library widget, next to the Settings icon, is the Quick Record Edit button. Quick Record Edit allows you to quickly record, edit, and save a new or existing piece of audio in your Wide Orbit system. Selecting the Quick Record Edit button opens a pop-up with three choices. Add Quick Record, Edit, and Cancel. Selecting Add Quick Record opens the Quick Record widget. Selecting Edit takes you back to the library widget with the text of the media assets in purple to select a file to edit. And selecting Cancel will exit the menu and take you back to the library widget. Underneath the Quick Record header is a drop-down menu which displays the currently selected input device. If your iPhone has more than one input device, selecting this drop-down will allow you to change what is feeding the Quick Record widget. The Gain Adjust is a blue sliding cursor which allows you to adjust the level of audio input. By default, this is set at 0 dB. Below the Gain Adjust is a level meter which displays the current recording or playback audio levels. The timer displays the recording or playback time. Recording audio using the Quick Record widget is pretty straightforward. Press the Record button to start. When you're finished recording, press the Stop button. To listen back to what you recorded, press the Preview button. The Fuel Bar is a graphical representation of the length of the recorded audio. The gray portion of the line represents the position of the EOM. If there is no gray displayed, the EOM is at the default position at the end of the file. To set or change the position of the EOM, you can manually move the Play Position cursor to the desired location on the audio file and press the Set button. You can use the plus or minus buttons to move the position of the cursor in increments of tenths of a second, and when the cursor is at the desired position, press the Jump and then Set buttons. Or, you can preview the audio and when the cursor arrives at the desired position, press the Set button to place the EOM on the fly. In the Metadata section of the screen, there are seven definable options. The top two fields are for the title and artist metadata for the file. The distribution field allows you to set the distribution of the recorded audio file to either current station or to all stations. If you're editing an existing asset from the library, there will be a third option, desktop configuration, which will keep the audio file's current distribution. If no change is needed for the distribution of the audio file, use the Properties button to go back to the main Quick Record Edit screen. The Category option allows you to select from a list a category for the recorded audio file. In Edit Mode, changing this field to a different category allows you to make a copy of the media asset to the new category while preserving the original. The Auto Select Media Asset ID option is an on or off toggle. When on, the system will select the next available alphanumeric asset ID in the chosen category. When off, the Media Asset ID field is available, allowing you to manually enter a specific four digit asset ID. In the Restrictions section, there are two mutually exclusive toggle options. When Today Only is set to On, the kill date will be set to midnight for the day on which the audio was recorded. When Until Further Notice is set to On, the kill date is set to No Kill Date or, in effect, Until Further Notice. When the audio has been recorded and the metadata and markers have been set, 
At the top of the screen are three menu items, Reset, Cancel, and Save. Reset is available when editing a pre-existing media asset. It reverts the changes you have made to the file and returns the settings to their original values. Cancel exits the Quick Record Edit screen without saving any changes and returns you to the library widget. The Save button saves the audio with all of the set attributes, the Quick Record Edit screen will close, and you will be returned to the main screen of the app. After selecting Save, a green Successfully Saved message with the category and asset ID will display at the bottom of the screen. A gray Keep in Library button will also appear to complete the save process of the audio file. Pressing this button will take you back to the library widget. A purple button will also appear with the title of the media asset as well as a Move icon to allow you to immediately insert the element directly into the stack widget. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Quick Record widget on the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app for the iPhone. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.